say hi. Hi. Today I'm gonna to be sharing a WW meal prep for weight loss. Oh, let's see M&M's. Yep, so a third cup of M&M's. It was definitely a choice to wear a white t-shirt while meal prepping today. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing a WW meal prep for weight loss. I just dropped my daughter off at school and we are up at Target. I have a couple things left on my grocery list for things that I'm going to be meal prepping for this week. So we're going to run in real quick. We being little Nora new is in her car seat. Um, so I'm going to run in with her real quick, grab a few things. I finished off my list of what I wanted to prep for this week this morning. Hi, Nora. I did my bulk grocery shopping yesterday and I still need to prep all of the fruit I bought and some of the veggies. So it's washed, cut, and ready to eat for the week. There's a couple of snacks we're gonna prep for the week as well as some lunches and breakfast. So we're gonna go grab those few last things we need and we'll see you at home for some meal prep time. But first, coffee. So first up in our meal prep today, I'm making a fresh batch of my sweet cream coffee creamer. This comes in at one point for a tablespoon on the WW plan, or three points for two tablespoons. This is the simplest recipe. It's a can of sweetened condensed milk shaken up with one pint of fat-free half and half and a tablespoon of vanilla extract in a mason jar. This stores great in your fridge for up to two weeks, if it'll last that long. After a quick clean of my sink, I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the basin with cool water and about half a cup of distilled white vinegar so I can wash and sanitize all of my fruit before letting it dry completely in colanders and transferring to storage bins for the week. For breakfast this week, I'm gonna be making a ham and Swiss quiche. My one-year-old Nora absolutely loves quiche. It's such an easy breakfast to heat up in the microwave and get on the table quickly in the morning when I make it ahead of time. It reheats really well, and it's only a few simple ingredients and takes less than an hour to make. Most of that time is baking, so I can get some other things prepped while it cooks. 
To make this quiche, I'm cubing down some Swiss cheese and some deli sliced ham, putting it in the bottom of a frozen pie shell, and then pouring over a blended egg mixture of six eggs and half a cup of cottage cheese along with any seasonings to taste, and it bakes in the oven for 40 minutes. All of the recipe details and ingredients will be listed in the description box below. For perfect clean slices, make sure to let the quiche cool completely and then slice after chilled. Hey guys, okay, I have my best little helper here. Are you gonna help me make a snack for this week? Uh huh. Do you remember what we're making? Power balls. Power balls. So, I, ironically enough, Lila, how are we looking up the recipe? What are we watching? We're watching a video. Whose video? Mommy! Mommies! I've shared this one before, maybe like two years ago. Um, it was another summer recipe I shared for when we went camping. It's one of our favorite like summer treats and snacks to have on hand in the house. Um, these are great because she likes to snack on them like during the day when she's not at school. They're a great little snack. They keep her full and so hopefully she asks me for less snacks and not a snack, 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 snack every hour and a half. <laughs> no promises though, huh? Ella, what do we all need for the recipe? We need... Oats. Oats. We need. Uh, this is almond butter, but some almond sort of butter. almond butter. Some sort of a nut butter. We've used peanut butter before too, and it's really good. So we're using almond butter today. And what's this one? That's flaxseed. Flaxseed or chia seed or any other hemp seeds. Anything else you want to add in for some nutritional value? We're throwing in some flax today because I have it. If you're making these for adults or teens and you want to throw some protein powder in there for an extra boost of protein in these, that would be perfectly fine. It would work really well because I'm making mine mostly for my kids. I like to avoid extra protein powders. We find natural proteins to include in her diet, but uh, I stay away from protein powder for kids. Um, we also are using honey for a little sweet and some m &Ms. The best part, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you could do, we're doing mini m and today. You could easily just do some chocolate chips or butterscotch chips or white chocolate chips or other little candy bits like mix and match. You get to do your own adventure here, make them however you want. And you're too little to help today, but you're helping from the sideline. Maybe you'll try a bite later. Are you gonna try a bite? They probably seed everything. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got our big mixing bowl. And then first off, we need oats. oats. One and three quarters cup of oats. One, two. Just shy of two, it's one and three quarters. See, it's a little bit more than half, but a little bit less than a whole. We haven't gotten to fractions yet. Oh, it makes you a little bit. Uh, it's not on me, is it? No, it's just on the counter. Oh my, I'm a mess. Yeah, you should have been holding it like that. I forgot, this is fancy, uh, natural nut butter. It has oil sitting in the top, we gotta mix in before we can measure it out. It was definitely a choice to wear a white t-shirt while meal prepping today. I very well may regret this. 
Mm, you want to taste the nut butter? Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. It's super good. All right, so after oats, we need three quarters of a cup of nut butter. Nut butter. This is almond butter. It's a little bit runny, so I'm just gonna pour it. I did go ahead and mix the oil in that was sitting on top. So three quarters of a cup. Ready? Mm -hmm. Pour it in. Pouring in the nut butter. This is our flaxseed. Yep, flaxseed. We're doing a quarter cup. There you go, pour it in. Okay. It'll probably stick. Oh, that's the M&M's. Yep, so a third cup of M&M's. Mini. Mini ones. Pour in the M&M's. Yes. M&M's. Away. Away with you. Sweet honey. Sweet sticky honey. Third cup. Third cup. A sweet beehive honey. <laughs> the bees make the honey, that's right. Okay, can you pour it in? Okay. Just gotta be careful here because we don't like want to get honey on our hands. That's true. All right, so we have all of our ingredients in the bowl. Time to give it a stir. This is what it looks like when we stir this up. Oh, very nice. Is it hard to stir? Yeah. A little bit, a little It'll sticky? Get, like, very thick when you mix it. You gotta use your muscles, huh? Yep. It's all mixed up. Time for a taste test. Mm. Ooh. Nutty. Nutty. Just like us. Arr! All right, and so we have this little um, small cookie scoop, and then what you could do is use this, scoop it out, roll it between your hands and make a little ball, and then set it on a tray to transfer into the refrigerator where they need to harden up for a little bit. But I find a really easy way and less messy for your hands is I just have one of these silicone mini muffin pans. I take a little scoop of our oat mixture and I put one scoop in each cool. little muffin. And that way I can just tuck this pan right in there, let it chill for a while. And when we pull it out, they'll pop right out. Don't have to get your hands messy. We'll transfer them to a freezer gallon bag. We like to keep these in the freezer because they keep really fresh um, and they're actually really good cold. Um, for little ones, we just set them out on their plate for like a couple minutes before serving to them so they're not too hard. But yeah, and these will keep. I mean, I have no idea, to be honest, how long they keep because ours will be gone within a matter of days with these kiddos. Yeah, squeeze it. Ready? Use your muscles. Hand muscles. Squeeze. Good job. And like push it down in there. There we go. Squeeze. Good job. So this recipe makes 24 little oatmeal cups. See, this is what they'll be like, but I'm gonna put them in the fridge to firm up. Um, I just pat them down because sometimes the cookie scoop, it's too loose and they'll fall apart on you as you're eating them. So make sure you give them a little pat to pack it in there. And yeah, we're gonna put these in the fridge to chill for like an hour and then they'll be good to eat or to store in the fridge or freezer in a gallon bag. Yep. Yeah because don't have to bake them. No, there are no bakes. All right, it's been just over an hour and these are nice and cold. They pop out so, look at that. Nice and clean, popped right out. But I am gonna pack these into a gallon freezer Ziploc and then we will store them in the freezer and take them out as we wanna have a snack. <laughs> Simple. 
one of our absolute favorite dips to have out when we have parties or barbecues or hit up the pool in our neighborhood over the summertime. It's fresh and crunchy, lots of yummy veggies in there. It's great on wheat thins or crackers or even on top of like sliced veggies like carrots and celery. Definitely a summer staple in our house. And Josh got home early, so I even got out of having to do the grilled chicken prep myself. All right, so I have four boneless, skinless chicken breasts that Josh grilled up for us. I'm letting these cool a little bit, and then two of them I'm gonna slice down and use in our chicken Caesar wraps. That's gonna be our lunch prep. And then the other two, I'll still go ahead and slice up, but I'm just gonna tuck them in the fridge. You could also easily tuck those in the freezer in a freezer gallon bag, and then you just pull them out as you want. Cooked grilled chicken, either to top on a rice bowl or on a salad. For this recipe, I'm using some carb counter burrito size wraps from La Banderita. I have some diced red onion, some shredded romaine lettuce, cut up grilled chicken, some finely shredded Parmesan cheese, and then we're using the Bullhouse Farms creamy Caesar dressing. We actually decided to have some of these for dinner tonight, so we're gonna eat some, and then the rest I'm gonna put away for a lunch meal prep for the week. These are super easy to store in the fridge. I just roll them up in some aluminum foil, and they're ready to grab and go. Thank you guys so much for watching today's meal prep. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell notification so you don't miss the next one. And until next time, bye. bye. Never thought